All right, what is up everybody? I am very excited to show you all this um, firearm. Um, this is my new Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0 compact nine millimeter um, optic ready core series. It's, it's a long name, <laughs> but um, here is the photo MMP M2.0 and then it's of course the four inch barrel compact. Um, I got the compact because the 3.6 was slightly too small. The full size was slightly too large. Um, so the 3.6 is subcompact, then the compact, then the full size. Um, the compact model, this one here, uh, I loved. Um, as many of you know, on my previous video, if you are subscribing and watching this, um, I actually had a Taurus uh, G3C. I love very texturized grips, um, but with that, uh, I had a few issues with my Taurus and I decided, you know what, I need to get something a little more, nothing against Taurus, but a little more durable. Um, I had... I had something wrong with my uh, trigger grouping. I had something wrong with the front sight braking. Um, my aftermarket sights that I put on, um, they just weren't really meant to, I don't know. It, it just seems like everything I was trying to do with that gun uh, in modification wise or just replacing factory parts, it was consistent headache. Um, but I decided to look into something with a texturized grip, something newer. I did want something that was optic ready because uh, I've had experience with Holosun products and ever since I've been shooting Red Dots and Holosun specifically, um, I did want a, another concealed firearm that was able to take that. Um, but this is completely clear, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magwell. Um, I just wanna show you all as quickly as I can, but as efficiently as I can, what this includes. Um, this includes a cardboard box. It's very sad that a five to $600 firearm comes in a cardboard box, um, but it doesn't matter. This is going in a holster and in a gun safe, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it it kind of is sad because even my Taurus came in a pretty sick case and not a cardboard box. But off my soapbox. Um, what's really great about this pistol is even though it is very new in this model, which is the optic ready, suppressor height sights, um, you know, M2.0, even though this is the new model, um, there is a lot of flexibility. Um, it comes with four adjustable hand grips. So if you have extra large hands, large hands, medium hands, small hands, there is texturized grips that you can change out by twisting this, pulling it, and this actually will come off. I'm not gonna show you because there are a lot of videos on people doing this already. So I will try to keep this short and simple, but you can adjust your hand grip, which is sweet. I've, I have a large hand compared to mechanics uh, shop gloves and I mean this gun with the medium texture feels great um, next thing in the box two uh, 17 round extensions so these come with two metal 15 round magazines and the full size and MMP in general does offer 17 round magazines so the purpose of this is to slide over the 17 round to fill the gap that is horrid when your mag is out like that. So you can go from 15 to 17 with these extensions. I don't have a 17 round yet because Smith & Wesson likes to charge 30 to $40 per magazine. And I am perfectly fine with having one in the chamber and one backup as of now. But uh, adjustable hand grips, uh, adjustable magazine links, um, two 15 round metal magazines, which I do love. I do love metal mags. Um, I had problems with plastic ones getting caught, springs giving out a little easier, um, for catching when trying to, uh, rechamber one, but great job on Smith and Wesson so far. The next thing I want to talk about is with this model, of course, 
optic ready. You can put your RMRs, you can put your Delta Point Pros, you can put your Holosuns, you can put your um, $100 Amazon <laughs> one on. I mean, uh, this kit pretty much has it all. Um, a lot of problems people were having just because they didn't want to put the time in. They were saying that they had issues finding which plate goes with their red dot. Well, one, there's only seven to try, so you should find your answer really quickly. Or two, if you look in your manual, I know a lot of people don't, but I like to learn about the breakdown, the uh, maintenance, the uh, what to expect, and I found in the back of the manual, it actually does say, do you have the RMR? Do you have Delta Point? Do you have um, any of these other makes? Now, there isn't one for Hollow Sun listed, but it does take the Trijicon RMR uh, base plate. So just do a little bit of time, do a little bit of research, look at what your specs are, and you will find out. Okay, we are approaching six minutes, so I'm going to try to make this second part a little quicker. Of course, we are clear. I'm going to go ahead and close this slide. Um, the last issue that I had with this handgun, um, I spent more time trying to figure out a holster that would work for it than actually picking the gun from Gun Broker. Um, I did a lot of research on what I wanted in a gun. I wanted an optic ready 15 round minimum handgun that had serrations and a thumb safety and a decent trigger. This trigger, a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. I'm neutral. Do I want to throw an Apex in it? Absolutely. Do I want to spend $200 on a trigger? No, this one justifies. <laughs> so um, I personally, I mean, this trigger, I, I do like that it has that thick wall, but it is a heavy son of a gun. But Devil's Advocate, it allows you to really take your time when pulling that trigger because that wall is heavy. Um, I think it's a five or five and a half pound pull. Well, our Apex or aftermarkets are going to be three, three and a half. So you're kind of just jumping shots if you're really nervous and in that uh, life or death situation. So I like a thick wall because then it really makes me focus on that last thick break. But that's my personal opinion. Anyways, off the soapbox again. Um, this gun is a pain in the rear to find a holster for. I've emailed we the people, I've emailed many companies really, um, and a lot of people have two of three things I'm looking for. They either don't support the height sights in optic ready, that's one. They don't support the thumb safety, that's two. Or they don't support... What was the third? Or they don't support uh, flashlights and anything like that. So optic ready, accessories, and thumb safety. Those are the three things I've really found an issue with. Now, I'm not going to put a light on this model, um, but I did want to ensure I had a enough space in the holster or an RMR cut with the thumb safety. And... Sure enough, after probably an hour to two hours of research, um, I did find Bravo Concealment. Um, guys and girls, if you don't know what Bravo Concealment is, I have bought cheap holsters. I've bought hybrid holsters where it's leather and Kydex. Um, I've bought just Kydex. And this is the most comfortable, best fitting, like two spec holster i have ever had it's adjustable for your waistband you can raise or lower these uh belt loops um, you can get the uh, kydex belt loops or get straps or get i mean the customization is unreal with these um, you can also add on to this to have a extra mag holster i mean it's unbelievable but long story short very awesome and this is what i want to show you the detail work, just watch this firearm go into this holster. The detail work is unbelievable. So as you see, we have our trigger and trigger guard. We have our slide catch, slide release, which goes in perfect. We have our heightened suppressor sights. We have our RMR cut. We have 
our um, same, uh, we have our takedown lever, we have our slide catch, slide release, and our thumb safety again. I mean, seriously, this thing was cut to perfection. Like, I have never had a true custom fit holster um, just ready to go for everything. Usually I have to modify them. They do also have the model for if you want to run your, uh, I forget what they are, TLR7s, TLR1s, the, pretty much the any mod light. But um, they also come wide enough for these suppressor barrels. So, I mean, please check out Bravo Concealment. I would be genuinely surprised if they don't have a holster for your firearms. And if they don't, I have heard many, many great reviews where if they are emailed of your specific gun, preferably with a photo included, they will do the homework of building you a custom. So really great company. I'm happy to support them and their cost was unbelievable. I got this on sale, um, ready to go for this firearm, optic ready and all for $45, $50, and that was with very fast shipping, like the premium $10, $16, whatever it is, shipping, because I knew this was coming today, and I pretty much two-date this one. Um, but that is the breakdown of my uh, MMP9 Compact M2.0, yada, 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 optic ready, whatever, whatever. Um, I love this thing. I have put a few rounds through it, um, and it's just, you can't even put in the same category of, of the Taurus. I mean, I, I thought I loved my Taurus until I really looked into Glock, until I really looked into Smith & Wesson and figured out why do these cost so much, and it's just the detail work, the, the scalings, the serrations, um, the barrel going indented to even like make it just easier on the user. Um, you can get it with or without the thumb safety. You can buy it optic ready or not if you want. Um, you could buy a five inch, four and a quarter inch, four inch or 3.6 inch length. I mean, they are really coming out with some hot stuff, and I'm excited to be part of it. But I will be putting a Holosun 507X2 that was the, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's pretty much when two companies get together, but the joint 507C with primary arms that has their ACSS reticle. So it's a Holosun with a primary arms reticle. Um, built by Dimitri at Primary Arms uh, and his crew, I'm sure. So um, I'm very excited for that. I did pay full price for this firearm, and I did pay full price for my Hollow Sun. But I am very excited and happy for it, and it's money well worth spent. And we will definitely review the Hollow Sun soon enough to ensure the same with that. But if y'all have any questions about the, uh, this is an inside the waistband. I carry appendix inside the waistband. No issues everywhere I've put it. I've put it at um, the 1, 1.30 o'clock about appendix. I've put it um, on my hip and I've put it small um, to the back. So I've, I've not had any issues with these holsters and I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about uh, what accessories are really coming with it, what you can do with this firearm, please feel free to message me in the comments. Uh, definitely like and subscribe so that I can show they do have the holsters now available. They do have all this uh, accessories and goodness that comes with it. And it is very ready for flashlight, optics, suppressor, everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but... Any questions, concerns, anything I can do to help, please let me know. Um, my name is Andrew, and I am out.